Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Thursday the 1st of March. Cracky, these days go past so quickly, or months go past so quickly. Um, talking of which, we've got a new month, we've got a new pivot. So, that's what I'm looking at at the moment. Whether we can see a, a move for price back towards these new pivots is another matter at the moment though. Um, the euro started to make a bit of an edge up um, after... Um, a solid sell-off even yesterday it uh, managed to sell off more solidly in the in this sort of uh, uh, earlier shift I guess and then just sort of floundered around a little bit towards its lows it's, it's certainly softened up a little bit here um, on the 60 minute time frame you can see that it's diverged a little bit again it tried it yesterday never really went to much and broke and made a new low um, uh, using the RSI here um, it, it's it has the potential to uh, pitch up here, maybe towards that uh, uh, 60 minute 50, uh, if it can break from where it is at the moment. I'm not overly sure what it may do, but uh, or might do this morning, but uh, uh, maybe that's, uh, that, that could be a, a good point to be looking at shorting. Um, from where it's sitting at the moment, well, yep, it could roll again from where it is. The, 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 just a, the speed of the movement obviously slowed down yesterday. It was a very slow old uh, afternoon with the uh, euro there. It did, uh, did just roll in the end, but uh, as I say, it was uh, pretty slowish. Now, um, target to the downside really, well, we, I have to come back to the dailies, and there's not a lot obvious apart from this uh, 121 area. What I do know is there's a stack of options that are sitting below at, uh, well, actually slightly above at the moment. Uh, some of them today, we've got some expiries sitting around the 121 area, uh, sorry, 122, 122 120. So, um, uh, 121.50, uh, that's Friday, sorry, big pardon, 122 today, 122. And that, that area may get a bit defended, so where we're sitting at the moment, we may see that uh, price holds up and above it. We saw it yesterday until the afternoon, until after 3 o'clock when it really sold off a little bit more. We may get the pr price holding up this morning or today uh, through to that time and certainly holding up a bit for tomorrow. So um, that suggests that we might see a bit more uh, upside there maybe. Okay, um, there may be a battle of course. Pound, where we've got news out at 9.30 on the pound. Um, we've got the manufacturing PMI, first of the PMI data coming out for this month. Um, quite key, so I uh, expect a bit of volatility around that. Now the pound's taken a bit of a hammering with the Brexit uh, negotiations, almost back into play again in proper, and the, the two in and throw in between uh, Europe and uh, uh, the UK. Um, with the word the war of words, which is uh, rather stupid, but uh, yeah, it's supposed to be negotiated somewhere, and yet they just still sort of just telling the press everything first. But there you go, it's how it seems to be being handled rather poorly, I would suggest. But anyway, so um, pushing up then maybe for the four alley eight uh, it has a potential from where we're sitting, but uh, I think with the weakness that we're seeing here, um, it could struggle to get back towards that but we'll see I've got nothing uh, significant to worry about on the uh, pound carrot continuing its route down in a sense um, at the moment though it's quite early it has got uh, obviously the monthly pivot sitting well above us it's certainly the daily pivot I think the monthly pivot's a, a bit uh, a big hope at the moment for some people um, we've seen a marginal divergence at the, lo at the lows there on the RSI, maybe MACD is showing something no, it's just really showing the curve of the price action um, so well, there's, there is a possibility it might pitch up a bit more I will watch it as it comes back to the 60-21s and see how it behaves around that area if we can get, if we can take another short off there um, I will look to do so or um, uh, wait and see if it breaks towards the pivot. If it starts breaking the 21, well, it could be an upward uh, a, a buy, but um, I would suggest with small positions. It's uh, quite bitty. Um, it's, it's short term time frame. I just brought down to the five minute here, starting to put a little higher lows in, but as I say, it's quite bitty and choppy at the moment. Okay, that's the uh, pound. It 
Dolly-Yen. Dolly-Yen's been difficult, it's been chopping around, I would suggest it's uh, probably in for some more chop mode, potential upside towards that monthly pivot, but when you come down to the 60, it looks like it's going to have a bit of a battle to before it was to get there. There is a whole bundle of moving averages in a way, uh, which may be uh, significant enough to stop the process. Um, it may not even get back to its pivot the way it's looking at the moment, but if it did, um, maybe it's a, with this sort of move that we saw yesterday, we've got some continuation to be had there. That said, it did diverge at the lows there, so um, <laughs> that that might have been the, the signal uh, that it has got a bit more upside, but uh, not particularly clear, not particularly good amount of points in it. So back to these sort of this area here, if it starts breaking through this area is when I'm a bit more interested in the long side. Uh, whilst it's uh, sitting where it is, uh, to me it still is towards the short side. But uh, again, I'd still want it to come back up into something to be selling it. So uh, patience game there, uh, as ever. Aussie dollar. Aussies continue to sell off, sold off through the Asian session so far. Um, once again, it's erring on the weaker side. Um, four alley is not really telling me too much there, apart from it's sold off. Um, okay, <sighs> nothing here. Eve extreme here, which is, suggests we could see further downside um, potential. Let's just see how it, if it can break through that 60 minute eight. It uh, has a fair run the potential up to the 21s, and that would be a better point from selling. But again, it has got daily pivot, monthly pivots above, so at some point it may want to have a bit of a correction, but the way the dollar's strong at the moment, uh, I would, wouldn't try and stand in the front of that. Finally, the Canadian dollar. I have one more bit of news, by the way, but I'll keep that to the end. Um, Canadian dollar, again, been pushing up solid again today, uh, today, yesterday even. A bit slow at the moment, which is to be expected. It's uh, not in its own ball game now maybe we'll see a bit more correction here but just retracing it's starting to retrace there was a bit of faint divergence over the highs um maybe it'll pull back and uh, it could be a sort of a reasonable opportunity back to, at least to its daily pivot maybe more hasn't got lots and lots of points in this um but uh in fact it's very thin on the points front at the moment um but uh May, may have a, as I say, possibility. It's touched 21, but the 21's been pretty ho holding out pretty well uh, through uh, this week so far. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. The final bit of news, of course, we've got the Fed speaker again this afternoon. We've got uh, Fed Chair Powell testifying, uh, this time I think in front of the Senate. Um, uh, yep, Senate Banking Committee. So uh, I'm, I would expect mu much of the same. He's already uh, put his statement out. Um, um, the, uh, the text version of what he's going to be say said will be available right at the start of the meet, uh, convers uh, conversation at, at 3 o'clock. I would expect it's very much similar to the earlier one in the week. Um, however, has anyone found some other questions to ask him? We'll see. Uh, but uh, he he was he did create quite a bit of bullishness around the uh, U.S. dollar last time. He may he may just uh, continue in that mode, uh, or perhaps it's all priced into the market now. Right, have a great one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.